Okay, I changed my mind. I don't like this. I'll go into the park more. But I'm not in a rush to get there. Got an overhanging tree, and then the vine from the end of the tree is hanging on the other side of the road. There's just a few houses down here where people will drive by me. I, I don't know if I will like that. I'd rather be further off the road. Further off the main type road. It's quite a thick woods around here. 20? Wow. It's already clearly a road that's not used a lot. It's beat up and private property on the right. <laughs> It's a nice open piece of land and somebody put a private property, no trespassing. It looks nice. Yeah, people pull in, private property. We got a little uh, pond. And it's mowed like maybe a farmer comes out to harvest hay. What? Private property on the left, too. Yeah, that's that's weird, because there's some nicely mowed grass. People have gotten confused in the past about the status of that land. Private properties. Dog coming out to greet to to greet me. In one quarter mile, turn left on Magnolia Drive. The dog doesn't see many cars the way it comes out to greet me like that. I got a left coming up. Big fence around this property. Doesn't look like a great property, but they got a big military style fence. They leave their gate open. Turn left on Magnolia Drive. No parking at any time. Road closed ahead. Looks like a shelter? That's private. Yeah, no trespassing. 3080 Magnolia Drive, on the right. Alright, so this... I'm not sure about. I could park outside the gate. There's three gates. Three directions to go. A river park. It's mostly for paddlers. Um... Yeah, I could just... Oh, okay, yeah, and just take a, take a little parking spot here and just hang out at their shelter. All right, I'm pretty much just gonna relocate because that lady pulled in and I was actually in the process of checking the, the uh, electricity uh, but I didn't find out because she was just pulling in. I could have maybe on the right pulled over to get electricity and use my computer, but this this area could be a little busier than I care for. Her showing up at 9.30. So, no thank you. I don't need electricity that badly. I walked over here. This looks less like an area for people to hang out in. With a purpose, the kayaking is uh, brings people here with more of a purpose. So I'll just come over here. They got two garbage cans, <laughs> so um, people do hang out over here. But I'm here first, so that might deter some people. All right, I'm making a midnight move. All right, can this show? Is this? 
There, I'm parked next to this pipe thing. All right. I don't smell any smoke. All right. I want to just say that, make that clear. I don't smell any smoke. But I am sick to my stomach in this spot. I don't know what the deal is with the air. That truck over there, he's making a lot of noise, putting out a ton of exhaust, but I don't smell it. I don't smell any exhaust. I don't smell any smoke. The air, the air seems different. I'm sick to my stomach and my heart is racing. Uh, I moved from this Walmart last night uh, because of the, the strong gas smell. And there's another gas truck in there. This area is incredibly busy. They got Tesla stations. Oh man, I don't know how to get out of here. My locks are going nuts. I'm going to try to move elsewhere. I saw that there's a Hobby Lobby just west of here. I'm looking for relief. Last night even in that Target parking lot, I was struggling too, just a tiny bit. I'm struggling worse tonight in this spot in front of the academy. There's been a lot of traffic. They got a ton of stores. This area is heavily built up. And and I woke up at like nine and that's that that's a little unusual. So I'm gonna just t I'm gonna take my chances at the Hobby Lobby down the road here. I mean, I I really don't know where else to go. I, I don't I don't have great Wi-Fi, and I don't want to be making big a big jump tonight just for better air. I'm thinking that tomorrow I don't want to go to that library south of here. I think I just want to get out of this area. It's too built up. Target's not looking as attractive. I'm gonna be looking for the Hobby Lobby on my right. I want relief from this sick feeling. <laughs> I do not like it. I mean, a sick feeling that's making my heart race. It took a, a lot of effort just to get ready to drive out of this area. I feel weak. My heart is racing, I feel sick. <clears throat> something is going on and I don't believe that it's all me I just have a hard time believing it's all me I looked on the map a little bit more and I don't see any factories nearby it's just all heavily commercialized areas so I just a little change in the air I think this is probably the right. Hobby Lobby is over here. They're they're pretty forgiving for overnight parking. Taking my chances and seeing what's the deal. Delbertville, Mississippi. Delbertville, Mississippi. All right, I slept in kind of late at this Hobby Lobby because that cop kind of kept me up at night. A friendly threat keeps me awake at night saying I can't be sleeping he may have shown back up but uh, I didn't have any cameras to capture that so I wasn't around he didn't show up while I was here okay short distance Ooh. turn left on old highway 67 yeah left at the traffic light I left and then yeah, I want to go to a library not far away. I was thinking about not going, but maybe I'll go. I just, I didn't really like that upset stomach feeling. And I associate it with uh, the air. Okay. And it's like, yeah, it's 30. Oh my god, is this one of those roads? Oh my god. 
This road crosses over too, just like in Paducah. So, so now I'm driving on the left side of the road. Very freaky. It's a freaky setup, and it's rare. Do not enter, yeah. Texco. Keep right? Not so much a right a right turn? This is look like a spot I could sleep. Oh, okay, keep right. On the ball parkway. And I'm confident I could just walk back to Wayne Dixie from the library when I want to get some more food. With one half line, I have Jerry Barnes Memorial Library on the right. Deputy Chief Walter, okay, Memorial Boulevard. Wind Dixie should be on the left and then Yeah, the library on the right. Uh is this it? Oh geez, I'm passing it. Oh no. I should have turned. City Hall. Maybe I could get in through the city hall. Garmin's having me pass it. Those birds are fighting. <laughs> Maybe I could go around because I was thinking I'd like to park. Jerry Lawrence Memorial Library. No. Uh. Code enforcement. Post out. Yeah, I passed it definitely. I don't think there's access. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh no. I don't think there's access between the post office and there. I don't know why they wouldn't allow access, but I didn't recall seeing a, a connection between the library and the post office in this back road area. Oh, okay, there's a connection. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll park at this uh, civic center and, ah, uh, library's right there. I'm sure everybody will be fine with me parked here. Looks like a good deal. Farmer's market. Alright, yeah, I spent the day here and now I'm going to the uh, Walmart neighborhood market five miles away. I don't know, it's like six almost 7 pushing 7 p.m. <sighs> just want to get over to that Walmart and sit I see off somewhere I like to park on the side of the Walmart I kind of I'm pretty sure I'm likely to get Wi-Fi in that spot just gonna make it it's five six miles on a screwy drive Curves and everything. Curves and turns. Probably some hills. Heading straight, mostly east. Then there's a library east of that so for tomorrow, a Saturday. American Top Team. One mile. Turn left on Progresso Road. Alright, one mile. 
slow down to 25. I heard the Reveille again at 5, so I'm, I was close to the military base. That's a loud speaker. 9 o'clock they have a bedtime song. 5 a.m. they got a, a wake up song. You can hear it for a long distance from the, the military base. Keesler. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit of action. That guy's moved. Oh my god! Turn left on the red zone. Uh, uh, right? Okay. You just kind of hang right or left. Just the direction that. See, there's. Turn right on Beloit Boulevard. There's this large body of water that prevents a straight through drive. You gotta drive around that water. Man, it got so hot today, I was sweating, and now it's cool. Nice and cool, but the days really bring the heat. Want to get into shorts? Got, got to deal with that heat. Move. It's a stop all the way. All right, three miles straight down. Man, there is a lot of brightness from all the other headlights. I got a... Okay. I can just slip in. Or I got space. 0.9 miles. And it's on my left. Okay. Get into the left lane. And then, uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for it. I guess I'm getting further outside of... Well, no. Smelling some burning there. 40. Okay. Point six. Oh, I don't know. I, uh, I think maybe. Where's a, where's a turn? Okay, where that guy's going. Oh, I think I can slip, Bye -bye. slip, slip. Bye -bye. <laughs> oh. Oh, easy. I don't want to go into the gas. I know that the left side I like. Right side is a possibility, but. Oh my, oh, but that's a bank. See, that's the thing, I was thinking left side, the business, there's a, just a bank. Uh, I could, oh my God, but then that's, it's the pickup stuff. Well, then now the right side's looking back. Yeah, it's the pickup stuff. The whole, And my my gear shifting pedal is acting kind of weird, so I guess I guess I want the right side instead. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I think maybe just go down a little bit behind. I did not originally consider this one, but I didn't know pickup was on the other side. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. All right, I slept here last night. Now I'm gonna move to the library south of here, about a mile and a half away. It's not open <laughs> for a little bit, half hour. Opens at nine, but I'll sit in the parking lot and hope hope I uh, survive until they open it's 
see a lift, okay. Cross the bridge, get closer to the the Gulf. Then uh, in the evening, I'll go to Walmart. I'm really, I'm not exact, I'm not happy about this because I'm limiting my exercise. Oh my God, it's too busy. They're spread out really perfect. And the speeds, the speeds are crazy. What point five? Two sixty nine at Folks Drugs. Thirty. Thirty five, oh. There's the bridge. I don't think I crossed it before, but maybe. Slippery. Somebody's parked here. Mississippi Main Street. Oh my god. I did not realize this was in the left turn lane. I'm forced to take a left and I don't want to take a left. Oh my god, I there must be train tracks. Maybe I could turn around here. This is stupid. Yeah, there's train tracks. That's why it's so limited. I don't really want to get gas right now. I'm at a quarter. Turn left at the traffic light. What a stupid intersection. I thought I was in a straight lane, and here it turns out I was forced left. That was stupid. Okay. Wow. In one quarter mile, turn left on the quarter avenue, then take the first right. Yeah, this looks like an affluent area for sure. Really built up. I mean, the trees really overhang the road here. And the library's not far. I think parking's going to be difficult. Good thing it's a weekend at least. It's like they've closed down the road. Uh, for, for something. Oh, the Mardi Gras celebrations. They got the colors. I'm not sticking around for that. They really block a lot. No, thank you. I say no thank you. Turn first Baptist south, Church. Then take the first right. Yeah, parking looks like it'll be very difficult. 
Man, they got blocks all over. Ooh, four way stop. Turn right on Dewey Avenue. All right. Library. Oh my God. Library sign. I see an old open parking lot. Is that the Ocean Springs Library? It looks like I should be able to park over here. Road closed. City might own it. That's somebody's house. I'll back in. I want to back in on the end. Yeah, this is an affluent looking area though. Oops. All right, I'm just sort of jumping over a short distance because I just get out to walk, waiting on the library to open, and I see that there's this parking for just, oh my God, they got bicyclers all over the place. For visitors only. Well, I plan on making extensive use of the library today, so I'll take this. It's in between two houses. Looks kind of neat. I should be able to really get away with cooking chicken here. All right, I'm taking off and uh, from this library going to uh, the Win Dixie. So this will. This is a wet drive. This this will be a little bit of a challenge Saturday night. Oof. It is kind of busy around here. See a little traffic. Uh, a little busy, and I just can't see very well. Okay. Turn left on Watson Avenue, then take the second oh, right. Oh oh oh! Yep. Oh oh! If any anyone works, I really gotta get this. Windshield wiper going. Oh, be faster that way. Okay. Turn left on Russell Avenue, then take the second. This is line. Russell, huh? Mm -hmm. Russell, all right. All right, yeah, go straight a little bit. Whoa, it sounds like a ton of water just fell on my roof. Turn right on Beverman Street. I'm gonna want to definitely check the sponges tomorrow. I think it stops tomorrow, but I gotta double check that. Stop. Go. Okay, that's uh, kind of busy. Yep, yep, kind of busy. People walking in front of me. Oops. All right. I got 0.3 miles to go here. It's not incredibly far. I've been sitting uh, for a long time. Turn left. I don't like how that feels. I think I want to uh, move the, the tree stump so I can at least stretch out my stomach better. Oh, those are pretty lights.
It's supposed to be decorated for Mardi Gras, which is similar to Christmas. Just different color patterns. Turn left at the stop sign. <laughs> okay, left here. All right. Now it should be pretty easy to. Oh, oh, big, big puddle of water. In one quarter mile, turn right. Yep. All right. So, okay, I'm making use of the stoplight because this is, I think, kind of a busy highway to get across. Low ground clearance for the rail railroad tracks. <clears throat> yeah, and Win Dixie's just across the road, so. Oh, uh, right. Oh, up ahead, not. Yeah, Win Dixie. Not the best parking situation over there. <laughs> 